Good afternoon. Actually, I'm doing this video for the third time. I mean, I'm starting the video for the third time because they're like three times their phone call came and I had to turn the video off. I'm so sorry. I'm late this time, but I, I hope you already saw my posting this afternoon. Uh, not afternoon actually it was in the noon and uh, actually this is not afternoon and this is evening um, so hello there I hope you everybody is in a good health and um, the world I hope is becoming normal because in my country today children started to go to school um, though it's not a good time it's almost 43 degrees Celsius in my country super hot humid this is monsoon but still it's very very hot and then i thought like okay my shipments are coming really delayed i'm getting very small products so today i just received a product and i thought like to okay let's start with oh, at least something uh so that i can give you some more interesting videos in this upcoming days so let's start i think uh, one of the most uh controversial videos or controversial uh, yeah one of the most controversial video in my channel is m cosmetics blush uh yes uh because <laughs> Um, I already explained in my in that video that why it is so controversial because uh, the best part tell me what is the best part uh, watching my videos you know what is the best part best part is I am buying everything by my with my own money right and so you guys are getting uh, everything I mean whatever you're watching from my um my channel it's a super duper honest it's my money if i want to make a comment or if i'm happy whatsoever it will be so true it will be super honest review so let us get into the hot topic so this is the blush this is the blush i have already noticed some very interesting part of this blush which i'll be coming up let me tell you about m cosmetics blush range a bit more so m cosmetics uh, if i tell you very correctly they have right at the moment three kind of blush one is so soft which is called this one so soft blush uh, this is a stick form so this is the real product here is the real product so very sleek and let me give give you a floor to make a comment of is it Fenty Beauty or is it Kylie Cosmetics I mean not Kylie Cosmetics is is it Kylie skincare range huh yes that is exactly what i thought when i opened the packaging and uh, no complaint i mean it's okay but um i guess america is uh, i mean the makeup industries of america they are quite fond of this uh, nude color packaging and probably some of them are making the packaging from the same company so whatever they have in their hand they're giving the you know same thing so if you buy a kylie cosmetics or if you buy a fenty actually fenty is making uh this kind of uh, packaging from the very beginning so cannot really bring uh compared to somebody else with a fenty um kylie started later so that is a bit uh quite similar then kkw beauty they they made the whole range of this color if you have any cosmetics i mean skincare or cosmetics whatever you have if you check the packaging it will be exactly like the same now m cosmetics is making that i don't know what is the 
uh, thing to make this kind or she can put a price tag of that I have no idea so there are three kind this is so soft blush uh, this is the stick form then she has the uh, Haven's Glow Radiant Ev uh, Veil Blush that is the powder from form powder press form and then I have four of the blush which is called serum blush which is in the liquid form and those cost me bloody 25 US dollar without the VAT tax and without the shipping uh, that is hell expensive $25 one blush so then when I was buying this one I thought like to give you uh, what do you call it I'm this time I'm not going to buy four or uh, four or five blushes I thought like to be a bit more smart so um, this blush range this is called so soft this blush range has one two three four five five six they have six shades uh, so this is called so soft passion let me tell you the most interesting part before that so when I was looking at this so M cosmetics is a American brand right it is Michelle Fans brand so let me show you the interesting part because if you don't see with your own eyes oh where is it where is it Oh, wait a second. I just saw it somewhere. Ah, found it. So if you go down of the packaging, so it's distributed by M Cosmetics. Made in Korea. So now you can tell me uh, that American cosmetics and by the way this is a bloody $30 cosmetics without the duty VAT tax okay this is a $30 blush and I had to think 200 times before I went for this one because this is not a Versace brand that I would pay or uh, Armani or it's not a Louis Vuitton it's not that level of boutique brand that I would pay for a $30 for a blush. Okay, uh, that's why I have to think 200 times uh, where uh, if I sh should I um, actually, you know, invest my money or not. So now I don't hold any issue with Korean products. Korean products are extremely high quality. Um, it was not I don't know if anywhere she disclosed it that if this was um, made in Korea it was mentioned in their merchandising I don't know but if you're thinking this is uh, now uh, it will I, I will consider it no more an American brand I will consider it a Korean brand and Korean cosmetics yes they are expensive so let's come to the product let me show you the shade I took the darkest shade because I felt like it's better to take the dark one because last time when I bought it I felt like those are way too much so they said it's passion hmm do you see it I don't know what is it did somebody touched it I don't know if somebody touched it or for the <sighs> my dear this is nobody touched it it's just the it cracked okay I'm not happy with the look seriously I'm not happy so passion is the darkest one it's um, explained as a vibrant 
orange red let me show you the color so this is the first time Ooh, I'm swiping okay I understood let me keep it over here and let me show you the color so it's one swipe I have to say they have improved the formula and again it's oily let me show you how, how I give the blush enough pigmentation but this is not red uh, in the tube it looks dark orange brown on my skin it also looks orange brown I would say more orange it has nothing to do with red <sighs> okay well I'm a bit disappointed I have to say uh, not on the product but it blended very well okay it dried up no residue no residue okay so that's one good side I would say about this blush now let's see the product how much product they gave you this much of product you get in the whole thing not surprised at all oh, I made my whole thing dirty okay let me wipe it off okay okay so let me talk about a bit so the finish is exactly like see the finish is exactly like the serum blush it does have a sheen but it, I, I'm very happy that it actually got dried up very quickly this time okay it got dried up quite quickly but what I'm not happy about is they explained it as vibrant orange red this has nothing to do with red man it is orange and brown this is not red so this thing cost you uh, will cost you $30 and I think they tried to make a orange or a tropical color here and I love the part it actually blended well but I'm not happy about the uh, color no this is not a color where you want to I think you can only wear it in the summertime but this is not a color you want to wear in the winter because it will look so damn bright so <laughs> I was expecting something red I'm I meant red means red like I use the Sula Beauty uh, red uh, blush which is actually red I mean if I want to have a hint of color on my cheek it has to be red because naturally that is what the color either red or pink uh, that is how it happens when it goes natural so the whole concept of M Cosmetics blush it was not like the other blushes like true to the color it will blend on your skin pretty well and it will just show as a flush of a color so they're true to their work I can see that but the color is not correct anyways if I'm happy with the purchase uh, quality wise I think they have improved a lot of course as I said I love Korean cosmetics because they make really high quality cosmetics and um, I don't know if she had uh, sold it off or not the company but if she did so um, I think more good stuff to come but uh, the price range is so freaking bad I would say the price should go a bit down uh, so that it can come to the range of uh, normal people um, because uh, the color 
they messed up a bit the color what they explained in the website this is not it so yeah if I'm happy with the price no I'm not happy with the price uh, will it last on my skin I think so because it it got dried pretty well and no residue is coming on my finger so that's a great development uh, will I buy another shade I don't think so man it's $30 I will I can buy uh, at least three more um, shades with the 30 with $30 and I'm saying just without the VAT tax and uh, shipping charges as well uh, the local shipping charge and the international sh shipping charge so this is what happens when I buy stuff and later on I find out that this is not the thing I wanted like right now this is not the color what I wanted I was expecting a red color yeah I was expecting red and uh, orange is uh, not a my not my color I, I I won't tell you that I don't wear orange I do have uh, coral colors I do have kind of orange color but it's not my favorite that's all so yeah that's it so thank you so much for watching if you want to invest your money in a good mauve color if you ask me i would say go for number three um number three is what is it the name is bitten is a rich berry bitten the shade bitten will be very well that's uh, th that's what i believe because the color will be quite noticeable doesn't matter whatever the shade of your skin is um but bitten will be fine then again uh, venetian rose that will be also fine but i don't think the rest of the three color which they have that will show up on skin which are my type of asian brown skin i don't think the rest of the color will show up the thing happened in the serum blush yes so <laughs> yeah so that's it from my side if you have money to burn go for it uh, but if you are in budget don't go oh my god don't go for it you have no idea how much I paid for this not $30 I had to pay $15 more that means I paid actually $45 for this this bloody blush oh that's very expensive blush because to reach my hand I had to pay $45 so yes when you buy something single from a website you have also have to buy extra shipping charge which actually you know it, it it's blood boiling <laughs> anyways thank you so much please give like share and comment if you have any question please comment I would love to answer thank you so much bye